Hey girl friends or guy friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I have for you guys a Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Smooth Tint Stick Review. That was a lot to say. Ordered it as soon as I heard about it because I love Fenty Beauty. Rihanna has not let me down thus far. Yes, I have not tried everything from her, but everything I have tried, love. This is what the packaging looks like. This is what it came in. This retails for 35 USD. US dollars and that's exactly what this one retailed at which was also 35 US dollars. Let's go ahead and get into this video Okay, I'm gonna go so we're gonna go ahead and review the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Smooth Tint Stick. This is what the packaging looks like. It's the normal Fenty Beauty packaging, so it wasn't like an exclusive packaging or anything like that, which we're cool with. So I'm gonna go ahead and read a little bit off the Sephora website because that's actually where I ordered mine from. I wanna see what the claims are. So it says, it's a light coverage, long wearing tint stick with a creamy, smooth texture that instantly blurs while melting to your skin for a natural finish. It is light to medium coverage, which I generally prefer because I'm not really a full coverage girl. Really. If I have to be, I will, but like it's not preferred for every day, right? Um, it's a natural finish, again, love. It says it's a crease pore formula that delivers a blurred, smooth second skin finish that is resistant to fading and transferring. Easy to use. The stick helps with all day hydration and contains true color pigment that resists oxidization. Um, plus, it's 100% recyclable. I like that it's resistant to oxidizing because I have tried Fenty Beauty um, liquid foundation, but as soon as it oxidizes, it turns orange. Why well, this one's resistant to oxidizing? I don't know about that. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is what the packaging here looks like. And this is the original Ease Drops. I believe this tend to have a little bit more of a matte finish. And this one's going to be a little bit more hydrating. And I do have normal to dry skin. And in the winter, it's very dry. So I'm very excited to try this out. It does have a little cap to protect the foundation from drying out. I've heard people say that you should hold on to that. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to mine. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in. So you guys can get up close on passing out. All right, so again, I don't have anything on my skin. Um, I just took a shower. I didn't even like, what's it called? Moisturizer on or anything like that because like this claims to be hydrating. So I didn't put anything on. So let's just go ahead and see. I feel like that's pretty good coverage even though it claims to be light to, light to medium, right? Okay, I'm gonna do three swipes. I'm gonna do a little one right here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. I'm just gonna use a round foundation brush and give it a little blend. Um, hello. Okay, let me put a little bit more on. I have a little bit of redness on my cheeks, so let's see if I can cover that up. Don't forget your neck, girls. And blend. Um, it actually does seem to blend out really well. You can use your fingers for this. I just don't like to use my fingers and my hands for like blending out foundation and stuff like i don't i used to like put concealer on with my fingers i don't really even do that anymore uh but it is supposed to be like very blendable with your fingers so if you want to give that a try you can definitely go for it you know what without fail every single time i film a youtube video guess what my camera is dying and guess what's happening right now my camera is dying so this is it fully blend it out and yes i think it definitely looks like second skin i'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back and we'll kind of see how everything blends in together all right guys so i had to let my battery charge a little bit because it died but in the meantime i did finish the rest of my face i put on my pretty much my everyday product i did nothing out of the ordinary i kept it very natural because that's generally how i kind of keep my face i don't really do full glam for every day obviously so i didn't want to do that today everything blended out so seamlessly the bronzer the concealer the blush even like everything just kind of blends in super well it's not like cakey or patchy or anything like that my skin also feels very hydrated like i feel like i did my normal like skincare prior to putting on anything which i didn't it was a bare face i didn't even put primer on and it feels really good nothing's moved i've had it on for about maybe 30 40 minutes while my camera was charging and i made some tiktoks and i've been sitting under some artificial lighting and natural lighting as well and i haven't really noticed any sort of creasing or anything like that I, let me give you a little bit of a close-up so you guys can kind of see how everything looks so we're very close and personal to my face you can probably see my little mustache hairs but um here you go obviously up close you can kind of see like all my pores and stuff which i don't really know who would be this close to my face but i always get smile lines so don't even like count those i just want to give you guys a little bit of a close-up so you guys can see what i'm talking about all right i'm gonna go ahead and go now thank you so much for watching my video my video 
my video. All right, guys, I'm actually gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me know what you guys wanna see in my next video. Um, and I'll see you guys soon, okay?